All right, everybody. Hello. How are you? Welcome to another breakdown. And today is going to be a fun one. We got a personal favorite of mine. Cinematographer Christophe Colette is a fantastic cinematographer, does some great stuff. And uh, this is an ad that I hadn't seen from him before, but it is interesting. And it is something that we haven't done yet, which is night exteriors, talking about wet downs and reflections and why it's so important and what it does that is actually stimulating to look at and why it is important and how you can use some tricks to make it better. And we see that with Christoph's work today. So this is for, I can't even remember what this is for, some sort of soccer club or something. Um, so let's just roll through it and I will talk us through, right? This is a good looking shot, always a classic. Anytime you have anything boring, just start moving the lights and that seems to make it better. Here we go, framework on the face, backlight, adding some color, VFX birds, we get our first glimpse at reflections, the locker room stuff, man, you better master the locker room stuff if you're going to do any sort of sports. Uh, it's not super hard, but there are some key things to remember. And then we're outside, and this is the scene that we're going to be looking at here, where we're outside, it was sort of raining, they're still playing soccer, and backlit, edge light, more rain, drums, everyone's happy. There's lightning. They better not be playing on the field with the lightning. Here we go, bet placed. There's some soccer legend. And then cue the end of the commercial. And it works really well. Good looking stuff, right? Like this is a cool, dark, epic nighttime ad. I like this little bar scene too with the moving lights. Again, it's like, do you have anything that is boring? Are you shooting something that is not that exciting? Uh, can we use colored lights? Yes. Okay, throw the colored lights in there. Can we do moving lights? Yep. We'll throw them in there too. Like these things just make it more exciting. More like don't look away. We've got you for a minute. Please don't change the channel. What are we going to do? Well, let's do moving lights and smoke and haze and all sorts of crazy stuff. And crazy camera moves. Like you'll often see that in the car commercials that we've looked at. You get like crazy warpy camera moves because why not? It, it's fun. Um, okay, let's get down to actually we should do this shot first, right? Like this is the classic um, if you're just getting started and you need something that looks really good on a reel, uh, this is the shot to do, right? Get some shears, get some overcast daylight out here, and you don't even need a light. Like you don't even, you can just wait until the sun, say your house is this way, the sun is over on this side of the building, you're going to wait for it so that you can only get ambient from the sky. Then you put the person's face as close as you can to the shears and still make it look like they can breathe. And then you turn off all the lights inside, and you have this shot, right? Look at those levels. Just a tiny little hint of level just here, right? Like this is basically, they're telling us exactly where to look here. Where do we go? Full screen, right? Like there's no question because over here is not interesting. Over here is just white. This is exactly where to look, just perfectly shaped. And then in the grade, of course, you can highlight this area and then take down all the rest. Say you don't have this, this nice a level in here. Say it's a little bit higher. It's a little bit, there's a little bit more ambient in the room. Ambient in the room is okay because you can take that down. Not enough in the room is, is trickier because it's hard to lift that up without um, creating some problems for yourself. Again, this is the scene where if you got one of these scenes, again, you can't see where the light is that is pushing the backlight down this way. But you get the little st stair highlights. You get all the little haze and the, the film grain going. And then just turn on lights randomly. It creates it's chaotic. It's hectic. Da -na -na, things are out of focus. This one backlit, throw some practicals in there, have them turning around, again, back edge, VFX birds, and there we go. Okay, let's go to our little night scene here. Night scene. So this is probably, is this the widest? I guess this is the wide. Well, it's the wide, but it's the least interesting. So we got a little area here. We're going to pepper some practicals around. Again, colored lights are better than not colored lights, right? If you've got the option, why not mix it up? We've got something in the foreground to add to framing elements that we always see on the podcast of good cinematography. Then we're shooting along the building to create some lines back there and then layering in the background, but really having those lights and having the wet down because the wet down gets us these reflections, which raises the overall impression of level. Like, it, well, it actually does raise level, right? Because you're getting more um, reflected light off of the ground. But it gives us opportunities to do light and dark and light and dark and not have the fixtures in the frame, right? Because the fixture that is doing this is up here. And it's just shining down this way, adding a back edge to all of these players, right? That's what it's mainly there for. But the bonus is we get this nice little light area in a dark frame. And you need the light areas in the dark frames to make it feel dark. 
If it's all dark, it just feels flat and you don't want that. You want contrast. So now we've set the we've set the mood with the color of the lamps that we're going to be using. We've got the wet down, we've got the cool little cobblestone and the the whatever these are, what are these little uh like tram tram rails, tram tracks. Anyway, then we come this is like a little quick one, right? A little on the feet, little micro shot, we're out to this wide. Then this one you can really see. Okay. You see the light source in the balls going this way, both from behind. And you get a little bit of this, which is giving you level on the shoes, this little lamp here, but it's very, very down compared to what else is happening on that ball. So with the wet down, you get this little interesting thing. You get this little interesting thing. Let's place a practical back there. And then we just fill in this side with some of that light blue colored tubes, right? They're just tubes. Anytime you see a tube in shot, you know that I'm excited about it, right? These little Titan tubes here. I don't know how old this, this is. But nowadays with Titan tubes, you can set any that color to anything that you want. There we see our backlight that you could probably see. What is that like the, the arm that it's on there or the cherry picker that it's in? One backlight from back there. It's far enough away that you can't see the stand that it's on or anything like that. It just looks like it could be part of the building. And then again, we're peppering in little practicals along the way. But what we're really setting up for besides the color, you know, we've got the chain link in the fence. We've got this little edge again, shooting along the building. What we're really setting up for is, where is it? And this, do we go back to this one? I think we do, right here. Oh, we, oh, we, we are good here. We got fence in the foreground. Then we've got shooting on the dark side of our man's hoodie here. But we've got this little tiny edge, which is coming from our tube that we just took down and we made it our own. You know, we're lighting. It just looks like it's part of the lighting because it matches this color, right? But really, it's over here somewhere, and it's giving us this little thing. It's on the ground, and it's also giving us this little key edge. And then there's our red light is coming this way. So we get shadow down this side of the face, edge, which is you know quite a hot edge, and then filling it in with color from above. So really, really well done. And again, you see in the background, see how the, the building just goes off that way? We're not looking flat into the building. It just goes off into the distance, which creates that depth even more so when you're shooting this shallow, this wide open. Does lots of good things there. And you can even see a little eye light there, right? You just catch that little eye light on this side of the face makes such a big difference. And you know, you can look during the rehearsals and you can be like, where is he gonna look? How far around does he look? You can even say, hey, uh, that was a great one. Why don't you try looking at his other eye? So instead of looking at this one uh, on this guy, you know, look at the other one and see if you can pick up that little tiny eye light in the other eye. But really nice setting the levels. And then here you actually see the light somewhere you see the key light just there, over there, that's what's giving us this. And then the tube is up here giving us this one, right? And this is what we're looking for, these little edges. And then setting the ambient exposure in the background to those levels. Here again, same thing, tube in shot, giving us this light. This fill is coming from over here somewhere, which is also doing that, right? Just really, really well done. And then, then keeping interest in the background with different colors. This one's on the ground. There was one more here that I wanted to look at. Comes out. Where is it? So this one, again, this is like a walk and talk with a china ball, right? Like you'd have like a china ball over here giving us this one, which is the that eye light in there. Um, but now this is, I mean, technically this is lighting from downstage, right? Because the light is coming from the side that he's not looking to. So normally you'd have it go that way, but maybe there's some reason that uh, Christoph didn't want to do that. He liked the shape, but here you got beautiful little edge light on there, matching in with the color in the background. Everybody else is down. Look at everybody else around. Like all of your attention is drawn straight there. And then we get this beautiful, even, even here, he manages to get that little bit of light on the other side. Nice. Doesn't feel, even though this person is the brightest thing in the image uh, outside of the practicals, it doesn't feel lit, right? It doesn't feel like you're pointing the source just at this person but they are slightly elevated, which is the look that we're going for. And then a really expanded toe. Like if we come out here and look at the, like all, everything is down here, except for the practicals and the face, practicals, practicals, and everything else is way down here so that it's nice and easy to pull somebody's face out there. And we keep going. Now this one is light this way, light from the front this way. So we get little edge over the top and you get this, you get that little nose shadow and everybody else also has those little edges on them, right? Just to keep, again, keep things interesting. But this guy's hat sort of gives away where the lighting is coming from. We've got edge, edge, 
but then this guy's hat is getting all filled in this way, which is where the light is coming from. And then we keep going. I think there was one more. Hello. This is like somebody bought the eight pack of Titan tubes. Like, can we get all eight on the invoice? Yes, we can. Okay, there, more smoke. Again, same thing, haze. Plus key on far side, plus give it a little bit of love on this side, and you are ready to shoot. And where is, there he is, there's the Manzizu. Again, shooting along, look at that angle. This is not a surprise, or not a by accident, that we see the same angle on buildings again and again and again, because this is what creates the depth. Then we're lighting just from this one side, right, which gives us this little line, gives us our little reflection, and even in the background, little line of light, dark. Little line of light, dark. Little line of light, dark. Just creating as much of that interest as you can, even when it's dark and down, even when it's moody. Don't just, if there's lights over here, just turn them off. Turn them off. Do not use that light. And we're out the door. Anyway, good looking stuff. Christoph, obviously a, a very skilled cinematographer. We didn't even talk about the locker room stuff. We'll have to do that on the next one. So many thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully it helps you do something when you're working at night. Definitely do a wet down because it, it just allows you then to use tools that aren't possible without it. You can get more level. You can get more control of where to tell someone to look because you can control the contrast on the ground uh, because you need that light area of the frame to feel the darkness, right? If it's all dark, it's no good. So you got to pepper in light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, different colors, moving lights, all of that stuff. Uh, and hopefully you'll come away with something halfway decent. Okay, that is going to do it for this episode. Many thanks for checking it out, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.